So which political group in the European Parliament is the most powerful? It would be the biggest, of course, you would think. The center-right European People's Party, which includes mostly Christian Democrats. However, a new study presented in Brussels on Wednesday provides evidence that the biggest group is not necessarily the most important one. According to VoteWatch.eu, the kingmaker role in the European Parliament is reserved for the Liberal Democrats, the ALDE group. EPP is the largest group, but doesn't always get its own way. And it can lose votes if there's a breakdown along left-right lines and as is the case in some policy areas where the cohesion of the larger that group breaks down. Um, the Liberal group can but continue to be pleased that we play a pivotal role in the activities of the Parliament and particularly in key votes. A lot of citizens or the media or interest groups don't really realise that. They think it's all about national interests. What we find repeatedly is votes split along party lines. Sometimes you get a grand coalition of the biggest groups in the middle of the Parliament. Sometimes votes are split left against right. And when they split left against right, the Liberals in the middle of the Parliament find themselves as being pivotal in deciding whether the left wins or the right wins. Based on voting records for the first 18 months of the Parliament's current term, which ends in 2014, VoteWatch.eu also concludes that the voting process becomes increasingly European. National differences are becoming less important, with political alliances increasingly driving the results of the vote. There is this grand coalition uh, reflex uh, present in, in, in our committee work. Uh, for example, in the Constitution Committee, I mean, immediately you go for big political groups in order to have an agreement. Even on, on IMCO, internal market, it would seem that, you know, EPP would want to do it with, with the liberals, not with the socialists. But at the beginning, we are always trying to get a big coalition. And if we fail, then we try to, to, to do it with our liberal colleagues. But it's a big frustration because when I read the press, the media, I hear the European Parliament refuse or the European Parliament accept. Yes, accept, but I, perhaps I, uh, sometimes I don't accept, even the majority accept, etc. So for us, there is, there is a big frustration to explain the conflict, the good conflict, the ideological conflict on some issue. VoteWatch.eu was set up several years ago as an independent website that aims to promote better debates and greater transparency in EU decision making. The initiative is supported, among others, by the Open Society Institute, electionmall.com, and the Center for European Policy Studies. The reflex with the European institutions uh, is often secrecy. Uh, this experiment demonstrates that, uh, that transparency is uh, the best answer.